start making some progress on the Z again. Got some things planned for it. Gotta get the thing wrapped, but I wanna get my daughter's reaction to the Q50 with the LSD conversion kit in there today, but I gotta get it cleaned up first. What color do you think would be good on the Z? Friday night lights. So ready. Hashtag football season. Favorite place to do a little burn up? Because it's slippery. Yeah. But we have people in front of us. Oh, we still, we still slide a little. What are you listening to? She's making black bean brownies. better it just chirps a little bit yeah. and it takes off hard like made my stomach do weird <laughs> love the hair by the way feels when we do the launching. Yeah, it feels like it's more stable. <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> what it feels you... like it's more stable. What? Stable in what way? Like, it stays on the ground more. You might be feeling the rear diff bushing kit that we installed. It what does feel, that? it does feel, <laughs> it feels more planted and, and no, stable like you stop. said. But how about with the LSD kit where it spins both tires now instead of just one? Are you feeling the extra grip? Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing on these interviews. <laughs> Drove the Z to work today. She's terrible at doing those uh, interviews. Obviously, it's a little bit difficult to describe something when you just don't have the vocabulary, but clearly uh, she can feel the difference when we're getting a little bit of grip out of the hole now with the Q50. It made my stomach like float. <laughs> that Traction Concepts LSD is working wonders for the car. I've done a couple of zero to 60 pulls recently with Draggy. I'm not liking the results that I'm getting, but it's no fault of the Traction Concepts LSD, none whatsoever. I can definitely feel the cars getting out of the hole a lot stronger. Uh, you can feel the torque being uh, put to the ground more directly through both wheels. It does put you back in the seat, but it's just that the car overall is not performing like it was. And I've talked about this recently uh, in a video with uh, the components that you add to your Q50 that actually make your car slower. I'm dealing with that now personally. I've done the big brake upgrade, uh, so we added a lot of rotational mass and a lot of extra unsprung weight to the car, and I think that's uh, proving detrimental, actually. So uh, we got to look at pursuing the lightweight rotors from Z1 Motorsports. Uh, the other thing is a bunch of aero has been added to the car, the front splitter, the side splitters, the high kick duckbill spoiler. Those will certainly have a negative impact on your vehicle's performance in terms of straight line acceleration. Now, uh, on a track day, I think the car will handle superbly uh, with the BC coilovers and the Hotchkiss sway bars front and rear, uh, the bigger tires, the better tires, uh, lighter weight wheels. The car's in, in the extra downforce, uh, even if the aero is not like 
you know, super high quality or, you know, really well engineered, uh, you're adding resistance, you're adding downforce by adding a front splitter and a high kick duckbill spoiler. Uh, and again, that's going to slow you down in a straight line, potentially, uh, but we'll hopefully uh, add some handling capabilities to your car. So that's what the Q50 was being set up for in it, from my point of view. Uh, you know, twisty roads, track days, autocross events, things like that. So I was never really worried about being a, a, a straight line launch monster. Um, I just wanted to be able to carry speed into corners and accelerate out of corners without spinning one tire. And that's what I was running into at Tail of the Dragon and the mountains in North Carolina. So the LSD conversion kit for me is not necessarily getting off the line, you know, getting out of the hole and, and super, super, you know, having a, a major impact on reducing my zero to 60 times. That's just not what I was in for. So I want stability in corners. I want to take corners hard. I want to accelerate out of corners hard. Uh, and that's going to, this, uh, this LSD kit is going to enable me to do that. So it's checking the boxes that I need to check. Uh, but what I'm seeing is that the car um, just needs some help you know, beyond traction now at this point. So uh, we, I think pursuing the Z1 lightweight rotors is the way to go. I think maybe we'll pull off some aero just to see if we can uh, Im get some improvements in terms of wind resistance and reduce some of that downforce to help get out of the hole and down the road a little bit quicker. But for the time being, I'm super pumped. Highly, highly recommend the Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit. Really, really uh, supportive, friendly, helpful, informative team there at Traction Concepts. So reach out with any questions, leave any comments you might have or questions you might have down below. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can, but ultimately going right to the source is gonna get you the information that you need. So thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support. I hit the links in the description below if you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself or if you have any other vehicle that struggles with traction issues because of the, sh the crappy open differential, Traction Concepts can help you out with it. They seem to have a kit for for every make and model, not even joking. So hit the links down below. Again, leave a comment or questions down below as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.